She's been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes. Crip, when mm -hmm. I saw it in 2004. Right. Wow. In 2004. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> I'm, 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 but I'm, I'm so happy for her, though. Like, all my enemies all look the same in the eyes, whether it's Faison, Wanda, Aries, Spears. They all look like... Man, what you got to give Wanda Sykes? You think I don't remember that? Sir, Wanda Sykes and Wanda Smith are two separate people. I mean, Wanda I, Smith. Wanda and, Smith. And I had only no, said Wanda one Sykes. name, sir. W Wanda, si w I, Wanda, Wanda Sykes. I'm cursed. It's amazing. I love Wanda. And I agree. I, I love Wanda. That's I my girl. Mine but I, I remember on the radio, you went on the radio interview. If I'm not mistaken, that's in Atlanta. Right. And you came on there with seemingly good intentions. And oh, she yeah. attacked you. It wasn't just that part. It was the fact that before I go in there, she has a conversation about, okay, now... I just want to talk to you because you just won an Emmy for the city of Atlanta, and this is in Atlanta, and they just want to hear about the Emmy and hear from you and to thank you for what you did putting the city on. Right. Okay. And we won't talk about your kids. We won't talk about jail, no cases. We ain't going to talk about none of that. Right. The infamous showdown between comedian Cat Williams and radio host Wanda Smith during a 2018 interview on Atlanta's V103 radio station left an indelible mark in the world of comedy. What began as a seemingly lighthearted exchange between Williams and Smith quickly devolved into a fiery roasting session. Six years later, Wanda Smith has finally spoken out, accusing Cat Williams of sabotaging her career and impacting her reputation in the comedy scene. That's not a problem. No, it is not, nice lady. That's come, natural. Come run, come run one of your gnarled fingers. Well, come here. Well, come here. <laughs> While you on air, well, well, so on. they can hear you lie. Come on, come on, let me come over here. No, 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 that's not how that works. Oh, okay, well then stay over there. Don't worry, ain't nobody putting their hands through yours. That's right, they don't have to. Uh -huh. I don't want them to. Get on out of here. You okay? <laughs> Only one of our you hands moving while we talk. Are you all right this morning? Are you okay this Red Grant, Atlanta Comedy. Tell Wanda to take sure, off them make, headphones and, and that sure, wig. And make sure. That wig and that headphones come together. And take off them old ass clothes you got on. How about that? Yeah, they're old. The Versace, yeah. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's it Versace. I want to apologize to the people at Versace Collection. <laughs> This is your 2019 summer but, line that but, hasn't but, come but out. You, but you had but, to open it up and but, show us it was Versace. I wanted to. No, I didn't have to open it, it up. Did, These though. people are on radio. They can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, but you opened it up so we could see it. Yes, ma'am. Let's rewind back to that 2018 interview on the Frank Ski Show, where Cat Williams was invited as a guest while Wanda Smith co hosted. The intention was to have a casual and fun interview, but things took a wild turn. Smith known for her bold and outspoken demeanor, tried to throw some lighthearted jabs at Cat Williams. However, she underestimated Williams' razor-sharp wit and comedic prowess, which ultimately turned the tables on her. Red Grant! <laughs> How many kids you got, one? I have three boys. Excellent. Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Aren't boys simple? Mm hmm Aren't boys simple? Um, they can be. They can be. Yeah. Wanda no she I'm what? She didn't do as much cooking in the latter years as she uh, did in the beginning. Oh, uh, whatever. I cook. I do it all. I didn't say that you did Well, didn't. that's right. I did it in the beginning and the middle and the end. What's your favorite wait, wait, thing to wait, cook? Wait, wait, your wait, boys, um, yeah. They like for me to cook. I do a really nice broccoli. They like my broccoli and they love my <laughs> baked chicken. Hey. Hey, right love. now, look up your phone and see what it takes to make broccoli. And tell me he doesn't oh, say, he doesn't say, uh, heat up water. Uh, shut up. Is that the only step in broccoli? Simmer. Heat up water? Whatever. Simmer. Have you ever heard of burned uh, broccoli? Uh, Can you burn hater. broccoli? Whatever you can't hater. burn it because it's made in a pot of water. You don't, you don't know nothing about. Shut you know what her second meal they love from her? What I do with corn. Oh, whatever. I like to dig it out that can what? and I put it in there. And then I get a can of water and I put it on there. And then I get some Zatarans. They don't expect that. I sprinkle uh, Zatarans I'm a on my great corn. cook. Aww. Whatever. Yes, ma'am. You whatever. good at heating stuff up. Uh, you're good at telling us about what's going on in jail.
Yes, ma'am, and getting out to tell you. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you at an arena named Phillips, and you're going to tell me at the Atlanta Comedy <laughs> That's Theater. right. True. Tomorrow, be there. All right. Red Grant <laughs> show. I know Red I'll Grant. be there. Don't miss it. Red <laughs> Grant, Cat Williams, yeah, thank y'all for coming through, man. Yes. And thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. you for coming in. I see why people come to Wanda's show. Yeah. Because Frank Ski puts it down. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> get on out of here with your crazy ass. Uh-huh. Is he crazy? <laughs> and help me get to the salon. All right. It's the People Station View of Three. Your hair is kind of... <laughs> that joint was... My hair is 19 inches long and I have no perm. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's not a perm. No, it is not. Nice lady. That's come natural. Run, come, run, come run one of your gnarled fingers. <laughs> Why you on air? What, what, come so on. they can hear you live. Come on, come on, let me come over here. No, no, no. That's not how that works. Oh, okay. Well, then stay over there. Don't worry. Ain't nobody putting their hands through yours. That's right. They don't have to. Uh -huh. I don't want them to. Get on out of here. You okay? <laughs> you okay? You okay? Only one of our you hands right? moving <laughs> while we talk. Are you all right? This morning? Are you okay? This Red morning? Grant, Atlanta Comedy. Tell Wanda the day. During the interview, the banter escalated when Smith made comments about Williams's hair, prompting him to fire back with a series of brutal yet hilarious comebacks. Williams responded with, My hair is 19 inches long and I have no perm. Come run one of your gnarled fingers through my hair and see. Smith tried to keep her composure, but as Williams continued to roast her attire, cooking skills, and even her jewelry, the exchange quickly spiraled out of control. Do you cook for your kids? Absolutely. Tell me some of the things you cook that they are proud of. Like, Dad made some. You got the best spaghetti. You got Excuse the best me. steak. Excuse what do you have? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> like what you okay, so what do you cook, Kat? All right, so as a father of seven with an unlimited food budget, you got a regular lasagna, a vegetarian lasagna, and 12 wings. <laughs> And then you fill it out with salad and bread. How many kids you got, Wanda? I have three boys. Excellent. Yes. I Wanda knows she, she didn't do as much cooking in the latter years as she uh, did in the beginning. Oh, uh, whatever. I cook. I do it all. What's your favorite wait, wait, thing to wait, cook? Wait, wait, your boys. Um, so, yeah. They like for me to cook. I do a really nice broccoli. They like my broccoli. And they love my baked chicken. Hey, hey. Right now, look up your phone and see what it takes to make broccoli. And tell me what it's saying. He doesn't say heat up water. Turn broccoli. You can't burn it because it's made in a pot of water. You don't know nothing about. You know what else? Williams' quip about Smith's cooking, where he sarcastically praised her nice broccoli and corn out of a can skills, struck a chord. When he poked fun at her jewelry, suggesting that it could be acquired at a gas station with a pack of cigarettes and a car wash, the laughter in the room was almost palpable. The brutal roasting session didn't just stop at her cooking or accessories. Williams was relentless, and his remarks left Smith grasping for comebacks. To take sure, off them headphones and, and that sure, wig. And make sure. That wig and the headphones and come together. And take off them old-ass clothes you got on. How about that? Yeah, they're old. Versace, yeah. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She it's said, Versace. I want to apologize to the people at Versace Collection. This is, this is your 2019 summer but, line that but, hasn't but, come but out. You, but you had but, to open it up and but, show us it was it, Versace. I wanted to No, I didn't have to open it, it up. Did, These though. people are on radio. They can't see anything. Yeah, but you opened it up so we could see it. Yes, ma'am. Well, happy, happy, happy. And happy, happy, happy whatever for stores for the Black Lane Bryant. That's right. That's right. Very oh, proud. Okay, let's Very play some proud. music real quick if we can. We going to a break real quick? Very All right, proud. so we go to a break. Shout outs to Forever 21. Yeah. And the necklace collection. <laughs> That's right. Shout out to They don't to remember me for a while now, right? I'm not the right one to Jones though. Get this inmate out of here. If, if, <laughs> if you can't get your blood pressure down, you can't call me down. Oh, well, whatever, little mama. If your cholesterol is 600. <laughs> whatever, little mama. I'm little mama's baby daddy. No, you little mama. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hey, and what are you, girl? <laughs> You probably shouldn't talk about sizes. No, that's okay. You're big on the radio. That's right. And you're, and you're big Turn in it prison. Down. And you're yes, big in prison. I've never been to prison. Uh, you have 19 felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. Okay. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Calm, calm no, no, down. no. Calm down. Only one calm, of us has $12 calm, calm worth down. of jewelry on. No, uh, no, no. No, no $12. No, 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 no. no. That all is available. If you want to, if you want to have Wanda's jewelry, please uh, go to go Sitgo or Quick Trip at any point. If you buy two packs of Newport. 
Newport 100s. They will give you everything Wanda has on right now for $7.99, and it comes with a free car wash. Won't you come on down? Yes, thank you. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Go the Shea, show starts at 9. Her. Wanda gets to the stage at 9.17. Uh, please Shea. come on down. Go Shea, please come get Miss Cat uh -huh. and do her hair. She's almost out of breath. Be careful now. Even on the radio, you yes. can hear the fact that exercise has crept into her vocabulary. Yeah. Hey, we up, little mama. We're done. You already used that one. Don't yeah. repeat your jokes, fresh comment. Oh, my God. Just we'll go to break. Your way is out of here. Oh, Although some listeners initially found the exchange amusing, it was clear that Wanda was caught off guard and was struggling to keep up with Williams. The radio segment went viral within hours, with most viewers agreeing that Kat had completely overshadowed Smith during the back and forth. What made the situation even worse for Smith was that the viral nature of the video drew both support for Williams and significant criticism of her. Many social media users chimed in, asserting that Wanda bit off more than she could chew by trying to roast a seasoned comedian like Cat Williams. Yeah, they are proud of like, Dad made some. You got the best spaghetti. You got Excuse the best me. steak. Excuse what do you have? <laughs> you I, I, love what you I, as a father of seven with an unlimited food budget, you can make... Uh, whatever is necessary. I said what they like. Excuse me. Excuse, uh, excuse me. me. I said answering. what are they like? You, you Just think. because you're a poor interviewer doesn't mean. <laughs> You answer the question and just tell Man, me. Man, you're what a they strong like. black woman. Is answer it okay for question. me to answer? Come on. You keep interrupting the answer. Oh Everyone can hear it. It sounds like you like me a little bit. It's starting to bleed over the airway. <laughs> it is. Oh, really? I want to let everybody on. know that Wanda got some lipstick on right now with enough glitter for the 4th of July. <laughs> the incident didn't end there. The tension between the two reportedly spilled over that same weekend outside an Atlanta comedy club in Norcross, Georgia. As the story goes, Smith and Williams encountered each other again, leading to a confrontation in the parking lot. According to reports, Wanda's husband, Lamoris Sellers, got involved and attempted to defend his wife by allegedly brandishing a firearm. Surveillance footage later showed Cat Williams and his companion running away from the scene, heading towards a nearby grocery store. Although there was no confirmed report of Sellers directly threatening Williams with the weapon, the chaotic scene was enough to add fuel to an already blazing fire. How did you feel when you started seeing all the stuff online? You know, I'm, I'm like this, Frank. I am not planning to be, I'm not saying that I didn't, but I think at some point I was expecting, all right, y'all, enough of that. You know, because both of us were like kids. It didn't end. And I was expecting you to, as the man in the house, to stand up and, and stop the kids from playing. And it, did, and it never happened. I think because, mm -hmm. you know, honestly, truly, what happened with you and Kat is not new. Right. You and Sophia have done it. Other people have done it. We've had that conversation. We've gone past the bumper. We've done that before. Mm -hmm. When we're sitting in the heat of the moment and what's going on in the studio, and it was funny going back and forth, that's why I kept going. I, you know, I tried to go to break a couple times. And in those exchanges, I think sometimes you would you would stop and then you'd say something real quick mm -hmm. and then you'd come back. Mm -hmm. And then we'd stop and then you say something real quick and come back. And that's why right. it didn't happen. Because to me, honestly, truly, you know. This incident sparked debates about whether Smith had crossed the line or if Williams had taken things too far. While some argued that Wanda simply underestimated Kat's comedic skills, Others felt that Williams's roasting was excessive and went beyond what is typically considered fun banter on the air. Nevertheless, Cat Williams maintained that his responses were purely in jest and that Smith had initiated the exchange by trying to roast him first. Y'all y'all remember when he roasted this girl Wanda Smith? You think I don't remember that Smith? Sir. Wanda Sykes and Wanda Smith are two separate people. I remember on the radio, you went on the radio interview. If I'm not mistaken, that's why she got canceled. No, you either believe in karma or you don't. Because I didn't even know any of the stuff that she had done to my fellow comedians until afterwards. What do you mean? And, and the world was OK with it because it was me. This is a person pulling a whole gun on a comedian in the confines of their job. And, and her co-host, Frank, was laughing at her so hard. She tried to do a Wendy Williams. In that instance, she was a modern woman getting cooked for her modern woman way. And then wow. she tried to sick her simping husband, 
Stop defending their ideologies. Stop marrying them in the first place. Now, years later, Wanda Smith is speaking out and providing her side of the story. She believes that the aftermath of the roasting session had a negative impact on her career and is finally confronting Cat Williams for allegedly sabotaging her opportunities in the comedy world. According to Smith, the incident didn't just remain a viral moment, but had lasting effects on her professional life. She expressed that the constant ridicule and jokes at her expense have caused her to be taken less seriously in her industry. To be honest with you, um, when I found out Cat Williams was coming, I got excited. Aww. Okay. I you know, I know many people think, well, you know who Cat Williams is, you know, Cat Williams and I have never officially really met. Like, we don't know each other, like, as in friend, comics, we've never worked on a tour together. We've never worked together. Mm -hmm. So this was really a big deal for me to have him come in. I was excited to really have him in this studio, to be honest with you. And I felt like as he started to talk in the beginning, he had an agenda, like to attack me. You're a victim. Mm. There we go. See. And I just felt the tension, like you know, every time I would ask him something or say something, it was like he kind of came for me. No, he and didn't. I'm not that kind of comedian. Like I don't go tit for tat. I don't. You know, that's not what I do. But that's what you did because of the respect that I have for him. When he started coming at me, it kind of threw me off. What? So, I didn't know how to retaliate or how to come back. Smith recounted that after the viral roasting, her bookings significantly declined, and she faced ongoing harassment on social media. Fans would continue to reference the interview, reminding her of the time she got roasted by Cat Williams. Smith contends that Williams' cutting remarks, which were widely perceived as ruthless, contributed to a broader perception that she was no longer a credible or respected voice in radio or comedy. She stated, I didn't think it was going to get that bad. I thought we were just playing around, but it didn't end, and the jokes never stopped. That's the same nobody that shot Tupac. And if nobody shot Tupac, it's the same nobody that shot MLK. It's a lot of nobodies out there, and nobody minds if nobody comes up missing, right? That don't bother nobody, does it? Certainly doesn't bother me. So, shout outs to the nobodies. The police said they arrested the shooters, then said they didn't arrest the shooters. But I was there. Did Shook do anything to provoke this? or Nobody no. in the world has ever provoked themselves being shot. That's true. If you're an idiot, you can believe this was about Shook Knight. What about the reports that this was gang related, that these were two gang members that thought they I, did it in spite of Tupac? If it was gang related, then why didn't it happen thoroughly? You're saying it was gang related, so that means somebody's gang was shooting at somebody's gang and then somebody's gang didn't shoot back. That's your story? What's happening, Puff? King of the pedophiles. Despite the widespread belief that Smith had lost the on-air battle, she felt betrayed by the way things unfolded, particularly how quickly the incident spiraled into a career crisis for her. She insisted that if the tables had been turned, and if a male comedian had been on the receiving end of such an intense roast, the public might have responded differently. For Smith, it wasn't just a matter of comedic insults, but how those insults were used to undermine her career in the long term. With a real gun in my real face on real camera, understand I'm losing my life for participating in something that goes along with my job. Like, this two comedians, what do you mean? And, and the world was okay with it because it was me. You, are the Smith. you came on there with seemingly good intentions. And oh, she yeah. attacked you. But this lady is trying to embarrass me in front of a largely homosexual fan base. That's why she got canceled. Gay people don't take it kindly that you would, as a derogatory, call me gay. Gay people don't feel like it's derogatory. So why are you trying to shame me with something in a community I don't even belong in? There's no gay people saying I belong over there or been over there. You did but I have no hatred of over there, and how dare you? You did a number on it. That, no. That's legendary. No, you either believe in karma or you don't. I just know that it was a setup. Right. And, and, and remember, they tried to kill me this same weekend, not in jokes. Cat Williams, however, has made it clear in past interviews that he believes the roasting was all in good fun. He has never apologized for his remarks, maintaining that Smith was simply outmatched in a verbal sparring contest. Williams's nonchalance about the incident 
hasn't sat well with Smith, who continues to assert that it was not just a comedic exchange, but an act of sabotage that affected her livelihood. Because I didn't even know any of the stuff that she had done to my fellow comedians until afterwards. I just know she, that it was a setup. Right. And, and, and remember, they, they tried to kill me this same weekend, not in jokes, with a real gun in my real face on real camera. Understand I'm losing my life for participating in something that goes along with my job. Like, it's two comedians, what do you mean? And, and the world was okay with it because it was me. Had that happened to anyone else, the world went crazy when Will smacked, smacked Chris. This is a person pulling a whole gun on a comedian in the confines of their job. It's, a, it's really a weird situation uh, when they hate you that bad. As of now, the roasting incident remains a controversial chapter in both Cat Williams and Wanda Smith's careers. For many, it serves as a reminder of how unpredictable live radio can be, especially when two strong personalities collide. Whether the roasting was just harmless fun or a career derailing moment is still up for debate. But one thing is for certain, Wanda Smith isn't staying quiet about the impact it had on her. It's my birthday, we gon' party like it's my birthday. Sip a car like it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hey, 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 it's my birthday. What do you think? Was Cat Williams just being a comedian, or did he go too far and cross a line that shouldn't be crossed? Do you believe Wanda Smith's career truly suffered because of the roasting? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy keeping up with the latest celebrity drama and gossip, make sure to subscribe to Buzz Voices for more juicy stories.